Hey, good people, back again. If you're looking for something light to eat this weekend, why not take that stroll on this spruced up chicken salad? Let's take that stroll. All right, inspirators, what we have here so far is about eight or nine chicken tenders that has been broiled on low to medium heat and they have also been well seasoned and they are ready to be chopped into pieces to make our chicken salad. Okay, here we go. They has been chopped up real fine. We're not real fine quite now, but we're gonna do a little bit more work on that, that chicken. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you what I will be placing into our chicken salad. Okay, we got this, we have these grapes here, about a cup and a half. Then we have about two handfuls of walnuts. And then you take it on around. We have about a cup and a half of chopped celery. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And we're gonna go back to the chicken. We're gonna go back to the chicken. We're gonna break our chicken down a little bit more with a fork and you all, you all won't be seeing that part. Okay, here we go. I have broken it down a little bit more. And I'm gonna start out with my pepper. We're gonna go in and put that pepper in there. And on average, we might have about a teaspoon of pepper into this. And then we're gonna start next with our with our dill weed. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. With our dill weed. We're gonna do about a teaspoon of dill weed. Then we're gonna do paprika. We're gonna do about a teaspoon of paprika. Now you do not have to actually do all this extra seasoning. And then we're gonna do our garlic. Because the seasoning is in the chicken already so don't be extra extra when you do this and then we're going to come with our onion powder and i would say about a teaspoon and a half of both garlic and onion powder then we're going to come with two teaspoons of mayo and this is mustard seeds This is one of the finest salads that I like to order at certain restaurants. So I'm going out on a limb and I'm going to make it myself this time, you all. And no, it is not the exact recipe of no restaurant. Okay, here we go. We're going to go on and throw our celery into it. And then we're gonna come with our walnuts. We're gonna throw our walnuts into it. Give you all a closer look there. We're gonna throw those walnuts in there. But no, I don't know exactly what restaurants put into their chicken salad, the walnut and grape chicken salad. I don't know everything they put into it, but I am doing this to my salad. Okay, we're gonna cut, slice up the rest of these grapes. And then after that, we will be placing them into our mix also. But yeah, this is, this is not the exact recipe because I always put my own stuff in. So I'm not just going around copying everybody's recipe. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're going to place those into our mix. See, they've been well sliced, you guys. Sliced them in two. If y'all want to slice them and dice them more, that's on you all. If you decide to make this recipe. Okay, we're going to put our cutting board away. And then we're going to go on and finish this off. Okay, we're gonna put some Hellman's mayonnaise in there. 
And on the average, you're going to end up using about a cup and a half, anywhere from a cup to two cups of mayo, because this is quite a bit of chicken salad. Yeah, once you break that chicken down real well, because I used about eight to nine tenders. Okay, here we are. If you want to place more mayo into the mix, you also feel free to do so according to your liking. Okay, here we go. I have my toasted, oven toasted bread. And it has been toasted on both sides. And then we're going to place our, we're going to place our, um, chicken into the mix. I'm going to place that chicken in there. That good old chicken salad, scrumptious chicken salad. <laughs> if you like salad with a crunch, you're going to love this one. If you care about walnuts and celery and things like that, you're going to love this here recipe. It is not uncommon. Okay, then you got your grapes. I see the grapes as a sweetener. Okay, then we're gonna come with our melted butter. Now this is something that you don't do not exactly have to do, but it's, it's optional. Okay, we're gonna slide that butter on there. And I could have did. Hey, y'all, y'all think I should have did that before I put that sandwich together? <laughs> It doesn't make a difference to me. Okay, we're going to make sure we have that butter all on there. Yeah, we're going to put it on the sides and make that sandwich look more appealing. How about we do that? All right. Y'all want me to add some more chicken salad in there? Who all want me to do that? Okay, here we go. We're going to slice it. Let y'all see how this sandwich look on the inside. How festive. And this, <laughs> this sandwich is very festive on the inside. Got a lot of things going on in there. Right. Okay. Maybe I should give you all a closer look. You think so? Okay, here we go. I have it all diced out on my plate. All right, we'll give you a closer look. And yes, if you love grapes and walnuts, I'm pretty sure you would like this salad. And here I am with my extra on the side. Just get you some rice vinegar and drip it over that tomato and cucumbers. And you're going to have yourself a ball. All right, you guys. But I want to thank y'all so much for taking a stroll just to see how everything goes when living with V.